Good morning everybody, it's Zay from The Grow Farm and today is update Saturday where we take a look at our progress throughout the week and we'll see the best updates that have occurred. So without further ado, let's head on over to the grow tent and we'll see the progress that has been made. Let's head on over. First up is the habanero and then just look at the leaves. I must say I could definitely get used to this. And I'm hoping for the best that it stays this way because this is just gorgeous. Beautiful leaves this habanero plant has. One of the hottest peppers in the world and I could definitely be getting used to this. We got some green foliage coming out of the top right there which is also looking nice. And check out this vi video of last week of what it looked like and compare it to what it looks like today. So check this out. So just look at that. It looks so different, honestly. In a week's time, it looks so much more mature. And we got some new leaves coming out of the top there. So I hope this habanero plant will keep producing some nice leaves. And hopefully we'll get some peppers from it shortly. Next, we have the Anaheim chili standing at about 3 inches tall. And just take check it out, check it out for yourself. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below about the Anaheim chili. To me, it's looking really healthy. And overall, I can get used to these peppers plants looking like this. I do enjoy seeing my pepper plants all healthy. Um, but check out the root structure also. You can just see this. I thought this was pretty cool. Definitely check this out. They're all over the place. The roots are growing here and there. And it's looking like a really nice job with the root system. But that is the Anaheim Chili. Now here we have the Cabanel pepper and just take a look at this gorgeous plant. It's looking so nice as well. I really like the way it looks. This is another reason why this plant is on the top list for the top plants and the countdown of this update Saturday. Check out the leaves. Oh man, the Cabanel pepper is going to be one nice looking plant. And so here we are with this plant and just check this out. What is it? What do you think it is? A tomato, the big boy tomato plant. So now this species is looking pretty nice, not looking bad so far. We'll see what kind of produce we get from him. But overall, it's not looking bad. Look, just look at that. The stalk is looking nice and healthy, pointing straight upwards. I definitely can't complain. And I'm happy with these results for update Saturday. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box below this video. And let's get to the shout outs. Here's the first shout out with Joshua Hedgecock, my man. He says, great video, so will you be eating the habanero? I really enjoy the hot peppers, especially in homemade chili. And of course I'll be eating the habanero, and I might be coming out with a couple challenges if you all like that. Next is Jennifer Odom. She says, I love it. Seeing other young people involved in agriculture really excites me. I met a family member of yours, Akua, and she told me about your YouTube videos after I told her how I work with plants. I look forward to seeing more of your videos. Thank you so much, Jennifer Odom. The third shout out belongs to Aleshka Thari, who says my lime tree has become a four years still not having fruits. Now, Nalesh, it actually takes five years for flowers to bloom and seven years for the flowers to set fruit. You still have some time, but keep on growing, buddy. My suggestion is to go to a local nursery and ask for grafted lime trees. This will actually ensure much faster fruit production for you and your family. So keep on growing. You got some time to learn. Our next, our last shout out belongs to Rose. She says, well done. Don't you have an example plan to show? But I like very much to see the youth giving great examples and giving us elders. Hope that in the future we still can count on some amazing people as they say. You never are too old, too old to learn. Am 51 plus, and thanks to you, I will have my own citrus plants. Keep it up, dear. Doing awesome. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much, Rose. That means a lot. <laughs> I appreciate all of your comments. And make sure you comment for a chance at your chance for a shout-out. This has been Zay from The Grow Farm. I appreciate it, you guys. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode. Talk to you later. Zay. This that I know hey, it's Zay. But why overall, not watch like a really good video. flower and... Just look at the orchid, it's looking really good. This update um, is definitely a positive one. Let me introduce you to my peppers. These guys are really cool. I just buried him a little bit extra with dirt so that he could actually have more roots come out of his stalk. And if you